Today we are looking at crypto arbitrage trading. It is very popular, okay, for those who started it at the initial, you know, um, when you have to do this with board and the rest, those who started it then, they actually benefited a lot from it. And those who started it, who were smart enough to start it um, at the initial stage, um, when crypto was still very not as popular as it is today, they actually made a lot from it, okay? But as time goes on, it is becoming more um, a bit difficult, all right, doing arbitrage, but it is still very profitable if you can find your way around it. Arbitrage trading may not be for everybody, but yes, it is actually something that can make you money um, with ease, all right, if you have all it takes to be able to do um, you know, what is required to do, all right? So what is arbitrage trading, okay? When we talk about arbitrage trading, um, you know, we are simply saying um, you take advantage, okay? It's you taking advantage of the tiny differences in price between, you know, an identical asset. In this case, we are looking at crypto. So it could be, you know, for Bitcoin, it could be for Ethereum, it could be for any other altcoin, it could be for even USDT, okay? So you are taking um, advantage of these tiny differences in price between these identical assets, okay, in two or more markets, in two or more markets. When I mean in two or more markets, in the crypto space, we'll look at in two or more exchanges, in two or more countries, and it goes on that way, okay? So you as the arbitrage trader, okay, the way it works is that you as the arbitrage trader buys the asset in one market, in one exchange, in one country, okay, and then sell that same asset you bought in a different market or a different country or in a different currency, okay, you buy in one currency, you sell in a different currency or one crypto and the rest, okay, at the same time in order to pocket the difference between you know the two prices okay in order to pocket the difference between the two prices so basically that is what arbitrage trading is all about and this is how it works okay let's assume that this is you who is the trader okay and then you decide to buy a particular crypto asset um let me remove this out of the screen okay from exchange one okay it could be from exchange one or from a different country, all right? And then after buying, the next thing is to sell that crypto asset to a different exchange or a different you know, current country's currency and the rest. And the end goal is always to make profit. It is as simple as this, okay? So you buy from one exchange, you sell in another exchange, and at the end of the day, you make profit from it, okay? And remember, you are making this profit from the tiny difference in price. The tiny difference, I have to emphasize it, the tiny difference in price so that somebody will not wake up one day because I've had a lot of videos on, uh, on arbitrage trading on my um, YouTube channel. But even with all of the calculations and the figures that I mentioned in that video, somebody will still say, oh, I tried it with $50 and it didn't work. Okay, please remember that the tiny um, um, difference in price could be 10 cent, it could be 5 cent, it could be 50 cent, it could be a dollar, okay? It all depends on the asset you are trading with, the exchanges you are trading with, and what you are playing around with. So it is always on the tiny difference, and the difference there, what makes the difference is that when you buy in bulk, okay, these tiny uh, differences in price doesn't even matter, because at the end of the day, the tiny differences in price can accumulate up to you know, um, give you up to a thousand, ten thousand, you know, and a lot more in one transaction, okay? In one transaction, all right? So um, arbitrage trade can be carried out between exchanges, okay? If you want to carry out arbitrage trading, you can do this between exchanges. Let's say you buy from exchange one, okay? You go to exchange two, you sell there, all right? If you have followed up within the crypto space, you see that all of the different exchanges, popular exchanges will have that the prices of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and every other altcoin you look at are not the same at the same time in all of these exchanges. Okay, they are not the same at the same time in all of these exchanges. So what you are simply doing is taking advantage of those differences. All right, so it can be between exchanges. So you buy from exchange one, you sell in exchange two, all right, and you make profit. Okay, it can be within an exchange. Okay, you can do 
arbitrage trading within an exchange. The one I've tried that personally is on Binance. Okay, so you can do arbitrage trading within Binance. I don't know about other exchanges, but I will equally look at it going forward. Okay, so you can do it within an exchange and you can make profit and I will show you how that works, all right? And then you can do it between countries, all right? There is more money in this one if you can find your way around it. Um, why this last option may seem difficult is because of, you know, regulations and then country differences, countries not allowing you to move money, you know, stuff like that. It, most especially, it is even more difficult in Nigeria where you cannot even move money across, um, you know, even within the African countries easily, all right? Banks will not even allow you to do this. Once you keep your money in their custody, they take charge. And then they detect what you do with your money. So you can't even achieve this easily, okay? But if you're out there and you're serious to go into business and the rest where you have, you know, different um, accounts from different countries and the rest, then this can be an easy task for you to actually uh, follow. So once again, you can do arbitrage trading between exchanges. You can do it between within an exchange and then you can do it between countries, okay? You can do it between countries. Country, between countries doesn't mean that you have to travel from one country to another country and the rest. But what it simply means is that you can do it within different countries exchanges. You buy in Naira, you sell you know, in cities, and then you return back to dollar and stuff like that. I will actually share all of this um, you know, when I look at the practical. So this can be done in almost all of the popular exchanges out there, okay? It can be done in almost all of the popular exchanges out there. You can do it on Binance, OKX, Remitano, Bybit, KuCoin, BitGet. Just mention it. Any exchange you know of, they mention it, okay? It can be done in all of these exchanges, all right? But for the purpose of showing you, you know, the practical aspect of it, demonstrating this for you, I'm going to just focus on Binance, okay? I'm going to focus on Binance, and I'm going to share with you how you can treat arbitrage within Okay, exchange, which is Binance, and then between countries doing that with the same Binance, okay, Binance exchange, all right? And then if it is between exchanges, we'll look at coin market cap and see the differences in the, the exchanges and then how you can actually take advantage of that, all right? So with that being said, um, I just have to proceed to my exchange. Let me share my second screen. So the first option is that you can do arbitrage trading between the um, um, exchanges, between two or more exchanges, okay? Um, this one is a bit difficult, all right? Because doing it between exchanges means, remember the definition of arbitrage trading is that you're taking advantage of tiny differences in prices, okay? Um, between one or more markets, between two or more markets, and it has to be at the same time, okay? It has to be at the same time because if it is something you have to manually do before you even go through the process of verifying your withdrawals from exchange one, okay, to the other exchange, you would have been waiting for confirmation, which would take like, you know, minutes or few minutes or thereabout. And before all of that is done, before you get to the exchange two, everything might have, you know, um, been, you know, the price might have changed drastically and you end up losing money. Okay, plus the fees you'll be paying in moving from one to another. So in order for that first option of doing arbitrage between exchanges, in order for it to work for you effectively, you need a board, okay? You need a board, you need a high frequency trading um, AI that can actually do that automatically for you, all right? Right now, I don't have anyone, I can't recommend anyone, but if you are good into, you know, web three development and the rest, you can actually do that. You look at the exchanges, what they can actually give you access to, all right? Look at the APIs, what you can do with the APIs, and then you take advantage of this and build a system that works for you, all right? Because there is profit in arbitrage trading. That is why a lot of systems have spring up, you know, in the name of doing arbitrage for us. And at the end of the day, the end of, you know, coming everybody and running away with the money, okay? So doing it within exchange, let's say I come in here to CoinMarketCap. If you don't know CoinMarketCap already, you can get a whole lot of statistics about all cryptos asset, okay? By coming here, you see that there are over 20,758 crypto assets currently, all right? So the number keep growing on a daily basis currently, all right? Some are legit, some are fake, some, you know, stuff like that. So, 
Um, but when I come in here to coin market cap, the ranking here is based on the performance and the more the volume traded on each of these crypto assets. All right. And you see that Bitcoin has always, right from the onset, Bitcoin has always been number one. I'm wondering where um how long it would take for any other crypto asset to take over Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is always the king here, all right? So we have Bitcoin, you know, according to their performance, yes, that is what the ranking here is. But if I come into BNB, BNB right now, CoinMarketCap is saying that it's trading at $281.72. So if I click on BNB, all right, you get all the statistics here on CoinMarketCap. If I come in here to where it says, this is the overview, okay? If I come in here to where it says market and click on market. Now the market will give you the pairs the BNB, you know, um, with, um, as you can trade BNB with other crypto, uh, you know, crypto asset, B, B, BUSD, USDT, USD, BTC, all of this, okay? You can trade BNB against Ethereum and the rest. You can trade it against Euro and so on, okay? So what I want you to pay attention to is the difference in prices, okay? Is the difference in prices. The difference in prices is what I want you to pay attention to. And if I scroll down here, you see Binance. Okay, most of these you see Binance, Binance, Binance. But if I scroll down here to somewhere, let's say this is KuCoin, um, FTX and the rest. Okay. If I come to, let me see the one that has a very big different in price. Which other exchange can I see here? Okay, majority of the pairs you see here is Binance, 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 Binance. Um, let me see. Okay, even at that, you see the difference in. Um, okay, this is on Huobi. You see that BNB USDT is trading at two hundred eighty-one forty-five cent. Okay, two hundred eighty-one forty-five cent. Then BNB BUSD or BNB USDT on Binance, it is trading at two hundred eighty-one eighty cent. So 80 minus, um, 80 cent minus, where is that? Will be, will be, will be, will be, will be. Where is this exchange again? Okay. If you remove 85, okay, 80 cent from um, 45 cent, you're having about around, um, I guess, 35 or there, about 35 cents. So that is the profit you would have made. Okay. Now, if you now buy this in bulk, you can imagine the difference, okay, the price, um, the difference in the, uh, the, the profit you would have made, okay, buying 80 cent, um, 45 cent from Huobi and then selling um, at 80 cent in Binance, okay? So all of that is what you should be looking at. Some are even selling at 85, F on F FTX is 81 cent, okay? And all of these. So these differences, this slight difference or tiny differences in, this, in cents is what you are taking advantage of. So when you look at it, um, for when you're doing um, trading um, arbitrage between exchanges, it, you need a higher, you know, a large amount of money, okay, to be able to succeed in this. And then you need a bot that can automate this system for you. Because if you want to do it manually, you will fail, okay? You will not succeed in this. That is the first option, trading arbitrage between exchanges. And I equally say that you can trade an arbitrage, okay, within exchanges. Okay, within exchanges will mean coming to Binance. All right, now on Binance, there are two stable coins that are actually um, fully supported here that you can actually trade with, with. Okay, we have the BUSD and then we have the um, um, USDT. If you check that on coin market, if you come back to coin market cap, you see that the difference in BUSD is equally different. The price in BUSD is different from BUSDT. Um, okay. The first one here is BNB USDT, 281.80 cent. Then BNB BUSD is 281.81 cent. Okay, so the difference there is just one cent. All right? But for you to be able to do this, once again, you need to trade in you know, large volume and then you need a um, bots that can do that. Binance have a lot of APIs, okay? It gives access to APIs where you can integrate your high frequency trading AIs and the rest if you do have one. Okay, that can actually handle all of these processes automatically for you. All right. Now, the next um, form of arbitrage trading is if I come in here to Binance and I go to trade, okay, once I over trade, I want to go to spot trade. This has to do 
with your fiat currency and USDT, okay? You are trading, now in Nigeria, I don't know about other countries, okay? In Nigeria, Binance gives me the option of trading my own local currency, and that local currency is um, called NGN. That is a symbol for Naira, okay? NGN. So NGN, I can trade NGN against USDT and then USDT against NGN, okay? So how you do that is if I come in here to Binance and then I type in NGN here. So if I come and type NGN, you see that the NGN USDT is the one that we we'll see here. So if I click on it, once I click on it, this is the chart we are looking at right now. NGN, um, this is the USDT NGN um, chart we are looking at right now. Okay, so how you take advantage of this, okay? Let me come down here to, um, if I hover each, now I am on the daily time frame, okay? Since I'm on the daily time frame, it means that every candle you see here, candlesticks you see here, whether big or small, let me zoom that out, okay? Let me zoom this out so that you get it. Whether big or small, any of these candlesticks you see here represent one day, okay? So USDT was trading for how much? If I hover over this, I want you to look at the um, horizontal line, okay? When I hover over it, you see this cross, the vertical and the horizontal line, okay? When you trace the, I, if I remove this, my mouse from here, the price will shift. But I want you to pay attention to the right where you have the prices, okay? Here, and then um, pay attention to where you have the volume down here. I can't remove my mouse. If I do, you will not be able to see. Here you see the date, okay? Um, vertically, you see the date down there. This is on the um, 18th of July, 2022, okay? And then the price of one USDT to Naira is 620 Naira, okay? 620 Naira on the 17th, 18th of um, July, okay? So 18th of July, from 18th of July on, this one is first, okay, this is 28th of July. So from 18 to 28, that is around 10 days or 11 days difference, okay? BUSD or USDT rules from just 620 Naira to around 710 Naira, as you can see here, okay? To around 710 Naira, okay? And then here again, it drops down to around, uh, let's look at the week, uh, to around 636, okay? And then it rose up again after a few days. This one happened on the 24th of August. On the 24th of August alone, BUSD rose from around, uh, you know, it opens to from around uh, 600, it went down to as low as 685 Naira to around 774 Naira in one day. To around 774 Naira in one day. Now, how do you take advantage of this? Okay, this is normal spot trading, but what you do is you use limit order. Right now, Bitcoin, um, um, USDT is trading at 711 Naira, okay? At 711 Naira, a few days ago, it went to 721. Now it drops to 701 Naira. What you simply do is take advantage of this. Let's say you want to buy, I am, um, um, I'm, I'm sure that because of elections and the rest, that the dollar will actually rise up to close to $1,000. When money starts you know, moving around and the rest, I believe this dollar will actually hit $1,000 or 1,000 Naira or so. So what you can do is to buy, okay? Use limit order. You come in here, okay? Um, you want to buy USDT, the NGN using USDT. Okay, first you need to have USDT to buy NGN. So you can buy NGN, for instance, right now at 711 Naira, okay? When you buy at 711 Naira, you come in here and place a limit order, okay? We can see here that it actually went up to 774, all right? But let's say you want to make 10 Naira per each um, um, USDT, 20 Naira per each USDT and the rest. Now what you can do is to come in here to place a limit order, okay? Limit order by specifying, okay, you bought at 711 Naira, you now say, okay, I want to sell this at 720 Naira, okay? When you sell at 720 Naira, it means that you are making a difference of around uh, nine, nine Naira per transaction. You can say, I want to sell at $1,000, okay? If you believe, or you want to sell at 800 Naira or whatever, 
you go ahead and place the limit cell. This will not happen immediately, but give it a few days, few weeks. Once that is completed, you'll be making profit from this. Now, let me show you. Let's say I bought, I am buying at uh, um, 711 Naira, okay? And I put in, let's say 2000 um, USDT. Okay, 2000 USDT at 711 Naira will cost me around, um, what's this? This is 1.4 million, right? This will cost you around 1.4 million, okay? Now, if you sell this same 2000 USDT back, okay? Um, if you sell this same 2000 USDT back to Naira at 800 Naira and you're selling um, the same 2000, okay? The same 2000, so from 1.4, that will be giving you 1.6. What if you sell it at the high, the, the, the highest I'm seeing here at 700 and, um, 774, Okay, let's not look at 800. Let's say it goes back again to 774 or even 70, 770 Naira. Okay, the same $2,000 would have given you 1.5. Okay, which means that there is still profit in that. There is still profit in it. What if this grows up to 1,000 Naira, for instance? Okay, one USDT is going for 1,000 Naira. So what you spend um, 1.4 buying would have made you around 2 million Naira and so on. Okay. So I, 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 this is just what you can do with the Binance P2P using the spot option, okay? You buy right now or you use limit order. If you believe that big, um, the, the USDT will get down to 680, 630, you can place a limit order to buy when the price get that low as low as this, okay? And once your order is filled, you now place another order to sell at a higher price, right? Okay? This is one method we can do this within an exchange, all right? Now, the other um, type which you can do within countries or within currencies is on the Binance P2P. So if I come in here to buy crypto and I go to P2P trading, okay, I've made a video about this, all right? And the particular country that I have personally tried that, that has worked, okay, before I started having issue with the platform that was, you know, helping me to convert my Naira to, you know, um, Ghana cities and the rest is um, this Binance P2P is Ghana. The country that I've tried that is Ghana. You can try it with any other country. You can do this experiment with any other country of your choice. Okay, but I've tried that with Ghana. Now, currently, this is what people are selling um, USD is 675, okay, 698, and it goes on that way. Okay, 670 and so on. This is what people are ready to sell. You want USDT right now. Okay, this is for Naira, as you can see here, Naira. Now, if I go ahead and change this to, to Ghana, to Ghana cities, okay? If I change it from Naira to Ghana cities, um, you're going to get this, okay? Just um, only this. Okay, it has even increased, all right? Um, it's selling, um, right now, one USDT is selling for um, 10, uh, this is 10.11 uh, Ghana cities, okay? And um, the payment method, you can see here, most of the payment methods, um, okay? You have uh, the Vodafone Cash, you have MTN Mobile Money, you have uh, Momo Money, okay, Momo, you know, um, Easy Pay, okay? This person is ready to collect Easy Pay. You see all of the different options here, all right? So what this simply means is that um, in the Ghana cities, officially, okay, the rate, the conversion rate, if you are going the, uh, doing this through black market, you know, some of these black market people co collect your Naira and then give you one Ghana cities for one Naira, 100 Naira and the rest, okay? But the rate that I have personally tried that that has worked is, it has to be anything between 50, that is one Ghana cities for um, 50 Naira, okay? From 50 to around 67 Naira. Okay, from 50 to around 67. Now, if you see anybody that can give you one Ghana cities for 67 Naira and you try this act, it will work. Now, how does that work? You simply send the money. You have someone, someone in Ghana who is ready to collect your Naira. Okay, um, you send the money to Ghana. They give you the rate at 67. Okay, that rate is converted and then they use it to buy USDT and send back to your Binance account. All right and send back to your Binance account. Then when it comes to your Binance account, all you just need to do is come in here to the P2P interface and sell it directly to your bank. And you can repeat and rinse this process as 
often as you can, okay? As often as you can. And then whatever the difference is in those transactions becomes um, the profit you're making, all right? It becomes a profit you're making. Now, another thing I have to say as concerned this is, you know, for those of you who are into business, okay, who are into doing um, businesses internationally and the rest, you can try other countries. Instead of carrying money, let's say you want to come into Nigeria, carrying money, and then when you come, you start looking for people who will exchange your money to your dollar, to Naira or so, or thereabout. All you can just do is, before you leave the particular country where you're transacting to, just convert your currencies or those currencies back to USDT by just buying USDT on any exchange of your choice. You can use Binance, okay, buy USDT on your Binance account. When you come to Naira, Nigeria and you want to spend Naira, just sell the USDT you have, okay? At even a greater value, sell it into your Naira account and you are good to go, okay? So basically these are just um, some of the um, arbitrage trading that I know that is working right now, okay? If there are any ones, anyone has the, that, um, any, any of you have here that works that you've tried that, you can actually share that. So this is what I know that is working right now that if you try it, it will work out for you, okay? Uh, and I decided to share with you, if you want, you can take advantage of the P2P, NGN, USDT trading, and so on, and see how it works, all right?